Hello, this is a recap of part 15 of our code series, creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. This code series has been hosted on CodeBuddies.org. CodeBuddies is a global community of code learners who help each other through online conversations on Slack and peer-to-peer -peer study groups and virtual hangouts. There's a whole lot of ways to get involved in CodeBuddies, the Slack channel, community forum, the platform is open source on GitHub. There's a Medium publication and a YouTube channel. And there's some new features in the works. The project we're working on is made with the Python language, the Django web framework, and the Wagtail content management system. It's a website for the nonprofit organization Western Friend. Western Friend is the official publication of Quakers in the Pacific, North Pacific, and Intermountain yearly meetings. Those are large gatherings in the Western United States. Our project is open source on GitHub, and I've been working on the task to add an author and connect it to magazine articles or modeling authors and articles and the relationship between them and Django. Uh, the task has been under work. We did uh, a lot of the work in the previous code session, number 14. Um, today, <clears throat> I worked on and struggled with a user interface for selecting the the magazine authors, the article authors directly from the article page. The default way of, um, that I had implemented last week, it was giving us a select box that was just gonna list all of the articles in line. Uh, that didn't seem like it was a scalable feature. Um, so let's take a look at that. Uh, from the sort of website standpoint, um, when you look at a particular article, now we're displaying the uh, article author here uh, using first name and then last name or given name then uh, family name. And that was after a discussion with Mary Klein, the editor of Western Friend. She said it's more conventional to display them this way. So we made that change sort of while a little bit off the uh, offline of this live code series. Um, but during our call together. Uh, the main UI change on the back end is this really nice select widget. This comes from uh, a contrib module. It's maintained by the Wagtail core developers. It's called Wagtail Autocomplete. And it basically lets you, uh, you know, select multiple items depending or one item, uh, depending on what your needs are. Uh, and it's got a search, like if we look for Morris, or I'm sorry, I can't, I don't have the uh, last name um, search implemented right now. I'm in the process of that, but we can search by first names, Timothy and Mary, or if I search for Tim. Um, so that's a cool way to narrow down the, the possibilities when you have dozens or hundreds of, of items you want to add. And then you just publish the changes or save as draft like normal. Okay, let's take a quick tour through the code and pop that over there. Really good. Um, so the first thing is in the settings we needed to, uh, and through pip, we installed this Wagtail autocomplete module. I think that's still probably down here on my on my terminal. Well, anyway, it's ways back. Not a big deal. Pip install Wagtail dash autocomplete. Uh, this is maintained again by the Wagtail core developers, so you can check it out in the uh, github.com slash wagtail uh, repositories list. The next uh, task was to sort of a couple of things. We'll go up to the magazine article. I changed the code, the name of the field, uh, added directly to the magazine article authored by it's a parental many to many field. This is out of the wagtail docs. I believe I did this correctly. Uh, it links to the author collection or the author model. And the related name is articles. So when you're viewing a particular author, you can see all their articles. We changed the content panel to use autocomplete panel and the authored by field. And page type can be used to limit the models that are available when you, when you type here. By default, it'll show all the wagtail pages. Our model doesn't inherit from a Wagtail page, so I just specified it here. Use the app name dot author, a uh, dot model. Uh, this is super important. You have to have the app name because it's actually um, whoa. looking for this dot. It's going to split that and grab the model from there. So the app name was required. 
I use this is single property setting it to false to allow us to select multiple authors. So this becomes a many-to-many -many relationship with the following. Going down to the author. So our author model changed from being a regular Django model model to a clusterable model, which basically inherits from Django models model. So we didn't need the, that was okay to replace. And it adds some uh, functionality to allow, I guess, the many to many relationship. I'm not sure much more about clusterable model, but we'll probably look deeper into that in following uh, or in subsequent code uh, sessions. I kept the indexed um, sort of mix in here. I'm hoping that we can, these authors will still be part of the search index. It seems to work. Uh, given name and family name are still around. Added this help text during the call with Mary just to kind of help people out because we realized that there are times when an, author, an article is authored by an organization or a group of people and not a uh, sort of naturalized person. Uh, so we're thinking, we're trying to follow schema.org and I just need a way uh, to add the schema.org metadata to the template. We'll cover that in a subsequent code session. Here's the part that I just spent like 30 minutes and was kind of stressed out, uh, but got it to work in the end. And I, the docs covered all the details. It was just um, scattered throughout the documentation. I didn't have a recipe I was following here. So it was really, uh, I had to connect the dots and connecting the dots was a little bit hard for me because I'm very new to this whole thing. Uh, but basically since our model doesn't have, we're not inheriting from the wagtail page class, uh, and we don't have a title field, we have to tell it what to search here when I start typing somebody's name, so like Ruth. Uh, you know, we're searching, in this case, the given name field, and I'll fix that uh, in a subsequent code session so that we'll be able to search a sort of a search name field. We'll create a, a signal and generate the search name with the f given name and family name later on. The other part is this autocomplete label is displayed here in the UI. Uh, basically, I just didn't know that when you when you change this autocomplete search field, you also have to require uh, have to define the autocomplete label if your model doesn't have a title field. So this uh, sort of Wagtail module was designed with Wagtail pages in mind, and so the Wagtail pages all have a title. But since we're out just in regular Django town. Um, both of these were necessary to get it to work. That's the part. I just needed both these parts and spent about a half hour <laughs> of time biting my fingernails and kind of about to give up, but powered through. The final thing is now that we're using this uh, authored by field, we just could simplify our markup. Uh, this author is actually the for author and uh, these authored by all, these are actually just the author object. So uh, can just use that directly. And it just uses the string representation to print the given name and family name directly in the page. Uh, so that was cool. And Mary pointed out again that it's more conventional rather than using Shender comma Carrie Joseph, it's more conventional to just say Carrie Joseph Shender and then have the commas to delimit uh, multiple authors. So that's the path we're on now. Well, that was quite an adventure and I still commend the Wagtail developers on their, um, on the documentation and, you know, things just basically work uh, when, you, when you do it right. So that's been a good experience overall. Again, this has been a Code Buddies jam. We're really, trying to build this community. It's a nonprofit organization. We're all volunteer run, so hope to see you around. If there's a sort of a topic you'd like to see us cover, go ahead and mention us on Twitter and we'll see if we can get a hangout scheduled or uh, welcome you to, to schedule one as well. And we'll hopefully see you around the community. Okay, well thanks and have a great day.